sign in to QuickBooks Online and go to Taxes, Payroll Tax. Click Annual Forms. Click T4 Summary. Select the tax period you're filing for and then click View. You should see something like this. Go back to the Annual Tax Forms page and click Employer Copy of T4 Slips. Select the tax period and click View. Now you should see something like this. Go back to the Annual Tax Form page and we're going to send all our employees a copy of their T4 Slips. Select one employee at a time by clicking the down arrow beside the word All Employees. Once you've selected the employee, click Employee Copy of T4 Slip. Select the tax period and click Send to Employee. Do this for all your employees one at a time. Next, log in to your CRA My Business account. Scroll down till you see the Payroll tab and click File a Return. Click the word Web Forms. Click Start a New Original or Amended Return and click Next. Enter your payroll number and select T4. Select Original Return if it's your first return for the year or Amended if you're updating a T4 you've already submitted before. Enter the employer information as seen in the T4 employer we looked at a while ago on QuickBooks Online. As the business owner, enter your information as the person to contact regarding these T4s and then click Next. Enter your employee's information based on the employer T4 forms. Make sure that the box numbers and the amounts match exactly. If the T4 has amounts in the other information section, select the box number and enter the amounts accordingly. Click Validate and Continue. You have now entered your first T4 slip. To ensure that the amounts are correct, check the amount against box 14 of the employee's T4 slip. And to add another employee's T4 slip, click Create New Slip. Once you're done entering all of your employee's T4 slips, check that the number of slips and box 88 in the T4 summary are the same. If they are, click Summary. Enter the amounts for box 19 and box 82 based on the T4 summary we have from QuickBooks Online. And check I certify that this return is complete and accurate. And then click Recalculate Summary. Click the Submit to CRA for Processing button and you will receive a confirmation of submission along with a filed copy of your employee's T4s and T4 summary. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe so you can tune in to the next videos in our tutorial series here on YouTube. And once again, this is Ariel from Fix My Books and I'm here to help you fix your books. Now, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below and ask me your questions and I'll try my best to respond to them. Have a great day, guys. Bye!